because honey it was actually we listed it for 94.99 wow which is crazy no, that, because uh, that is crazy we Matt, had no diff- idea we, we didn't have any idea and yeah when we, when we originally looked at it we thought you know 29.99 Hi, welcome back to M's Den. We're Paul and Marie, and um, we thought we'd do an auction catch-up video. Yes, we did a video a week and a half ago where mm. we um, had our big auction lot with seven boxes. Yes. Um, lot 1178, where we spent £75, then you put the 30% fees on, and it bought mm. it to Hun, £97.50. And we went through all the items, um, showing you what we got, and um, we were quite surprised at the value of some of them, weren't we? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. And we yeah. had 59 listings, that's what we managed to salvage from the auction lot. That's not bad from one, one auction one, lot, really. One, no, and I think four of the items, we didn't really know what to price mm. them at, so we decided we would do something we don't normally do, which is put them on auction. Auction. We and don't do auctions. We don't do auctions, <laughs> and we sort of thought that it would make a nice video to show you what they actually went for. Mm. Now, yeah. it's been a week and a half, so the video came out on the Wednesday. On the Sunday of that week, we put the items up for auction, and in yeah. a minute, we will show you what they um, what happened at the auction, because we recorded it on mm. the Sunday, didn't we? <laughs> Just because we thought you might be interested. But first, we thought we might take you through some of the things that have sold, because when we um, showed you the video, um, I got to work getting them, because we had the prices already yeah. done, didn't we? All the research oh, yeah. was done. Yeah. We took a few days getting those listings on, but how have we got on? 59 listings is quite a lot of items, hum. Yeah. So we thought we would show you because um, you, sometimes you're working on other stuff that you've got, you know, at the same time, so you can't always get everything on. So we had 59 listings, hun. Four of those were due to go to auction. 45 of those items were listed. 10 of them have still not been listed yet. Right. Now that's normally things like they need to clean mm. or they need they um, need attention. Yeah, some of the, and it's the some of the plush, some yeah. of the clothing, things like that. Mm. But we thought we'd show you some of the ones that have um, sold because we, uh, you know, found a couple of interesting things. So we've got this dragon hum that was broken. It turned out yeah. to be broken in four places. Yeah, that such was, a shame. It wasn't was it? a shame. It was a lovely, lovely thing. And but um, but yeah, oh, it's. It's obviously had a serious fall at some point, but yeah, it it's, was it is quite a shame. fragile. Some yeah. areas were quite fragile. But it was, it was, it was a shame because it was lovely, and it would have taken someone a long time to to deal with that. Oh yes, and uh, just so that you know, each listing um, had cost one pound sixty five. Yes. So even though it was broken a little bit more than we thought it was, we still listed it for twenty four ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. No, you still people will still buy them. Some people want to repair them. Some people you know what I mean, like that sort of thing. Yeah. So um we still listed it, definitely. And it sold for fifteen pounds, hum. £15. Now that was because we took an offer. Now we did dilly dally when we, it, the offer came in we were like, oh it came through quite quick, didn't it? It, it yeah. didn't take long to sell, but it's one of those things where you think, oh well we we're making money on it. You know, and when's the next offer going to come through? Because it is broken. Yeah, we were looking for around the £20 mark, weren't we? We but were, but... It, is it worth holding on for that extra £5 for you know, months and months you on it? Yeah, that's it. If it had been okay, we probably would we have... We probably would no, have... No, we Because would, it was broken. That's it. Not everyone wants something that's broken, especially with four areas of damage. Yes. So we took the took offer. Took the offer. And it's gone. Mm-hmm. Out the door. So let's move on to these wooden bookends. I thought these were, um, you know, I didn't think they were going to be that popular, but they went quite quickly again. Yeah, yeah, they went quite quick. They these... weren't, you know, I, I don't know. I think they were quite old, weren't they? But they I were. I don't think. I think they were quite a nice sort of um, simple design. Not everyone wants yeah, that's fancy, what I was going to say. They? Simple. It's, quite, it's easy quite nice. design. It's, yeah. Twelve ninety nine. We listed them for, and they mm. went for eleven sixty nine. Hans, that's yeah. not too bad. Is no, it? not bad at all. The vintage handbag that went up for eighteen ninety nine. This was the next thing that sold. Mm. Um, I want to say thank you to Michael um, because um, he contacted us and said use the word prop. Mm. We did use the keyword prop, and da da, yes. it sold. sold. £16.14 it sold for, so we were really pleased at that, weren't we? Yeah, I must have sent out an offer on that one or something I like that. I think you did, it's yeah. a bit of an unusual price. <laughs> then we've got um, a vintage pair of vintage ashtrays hung. The mm. playing card ashtrays. I, again, I didn't think these would be that popular. There was a pair of them, wasn't there? That's right, yeah. We listed them for £16.99. Mm. And guess what, hun? What? 
They went for sixteen ninety nine. Full price. Woo! Fantastic. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic. We do like it when it goes full price. We do, yes. Because we don't that doesn't happen very often, that's why. No. <laughs> then we've got the playing cards box hum. This um was listed for fourteen ninety nine. This was one of the reasons we bought this lot in the first place because I, I knew that some of the playing card stuff would be quite popular. Yeah, especially yeah. these days since lockdown where you've got a lot of man caves. Lot, yeah, that's it. A lot of a lot of sort of home pubs and things yes. like that sort of uh, uh, have come about, haven't they? And, and people like um, those sort of retro yeah, looking things. Yeah. So this went for fourteen ninety nine um and sold for ten pounds. Yeah. So we were quite pleased with that, weren't yeah, we? That's an offer we took there. Now we've got this pewter candlestick hun. This was this was gorgeous, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I thought it was unusual. Yeah. Uh, the way the top was sort of cupped and then, is that the point? It was, one yeah, of the point. the point in it, yeah. And we were ever so lucky because someone had the same um, item on eBay, mm. which saved me such a lot of time because it had all the markings were the same and everything. So it was oh, really right. quick, Excellent. That's really good. quick to list because I, I learned a lot of knowledge from that. So that's mm. great. So we listed it for thirty four ninety nine, hun, and it sold for £30. Took an offer, £30. Fantastic. So that's not too bad, is it? No, that's really good. And then we've got, we've got an item that we didn't really even touch upon in the video. Um, if you remember, we had two tins of buttons um, and we said we were going to put the buttons up for, I think, 19 99 with mm. the tins. But um, because I'm a little bit nosy, I did have a look. Because we've sold vintage tins before, I had a yeah. look. And this was a 1940s Fox's Glacier Mints tin. Mm. Um, that I thought, oh, you know, you know this, it's quite rare online. We might be able to get... Sort of not ten. not in the best condition. No, it had a hole punch in the base of it. Yeah, it was from the nineteen forties, so it's but, quite rusty. Yeah. But what we did is we took the um, few things that were in it and put those with the the buttons, buttons and yes, just it, yeah. and that just left the tin. So really, the tin didn't really cost anything because we'd already equated the the money to the other tin. If that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. That's it. Um, so we put it up for eleven ninety nine, and I think we must have taken an offer of ten pound. Yeah, I mean that was a you know a good offer really. I, I don't mind it when uh, they just take one ninety nine off. That's it. So sometimes <laughs> it just sort of shows that when we did the research that afternoon, or it was most of the day, wasn't it? Mm. Um, you know what we do sometimes do before we do list something, we do go back and have a look mm. just to double check we we've done the right thing. And when yes. when we looked at that, we realised it was worth more than um just putting it with some buttons yes yeah. so i did check the buttons tin but it wasn't as old and yeah. um there was a, quite a few of them online so we did, mm. we decided to sell the buttons with the tin but that's not gone yet as it's listed no but it's not still there it's listed yeah that's it but then we're going to move on to the final thing that's um listed because we sort of feel that we we try and be as honest we, as we can in these videos yes. and sometimes we don't always do we the don't. right thing. We don't no, always no, get, don't it, get right. it right. No, definitely not. We, you know, <laughs> that's it. But I, the, no, I don't think anybody can get it right 100 percent of the time. No, so. I don't think anyone's ever looked at us and gone, "They've got that <laughs> They've right." They've got that right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but this was the Viewmaster um, Model G with 34 sets of stereo pictures and nine singles. Now, originally, when we showed this in the video, um, mm. I sort of said 29.99. And yeah. then it was just left, and then I've left it for about four days before yeah. listing it because I thought, oh, all of that is going to need checking. And yeah. we didn't know how many um, sets of stereo pictures were in there. Um, and then some mug had to check every single stereo set picture. Um, and such a lot of worth there, hun, that it meant that I did go back and, and relook at it and... Um, did spend a bit of time, probably about an hour, yeah. just looking at that one item, mm. and um, we listed it for a much different, <laughs> a different value price. when we realised. Um, so we're showing yeah. you the picture because we don't want to mislead you thinking that what we had was only worth thirty pound. Mm. Because, hun, it was actually we listed it for ninety four ninety nine. Wow, which is crazy well, that, because uh, that is crazy. We did, had no idea. We, we didn't have any idea, and. Yeah, when we when originally looked at it, we thought, you know, twenty nine ninety nine or whatever. What yeah, it, 20, that was all together. We did look at, well, should we split it or should we keep it all together? Yeah. We tried to, but we you'll see in the photo that we laid it out so that, um, mm. you know, and a lot of them had the booklets and everything. So, yeah. yes, ninety four ninety nine. And guess what, hun? Well. It sold for full price. Fantastic. And better than that, it sold really quickly, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, it did. 
No, so, I was really, uh, yeah, really, really pleased with so that. So that was the surprise of the week. But without further ado, Han, I think we should get to the nitty gritty, <laughs> which is what did the Back to the Future album go for on the auction? Mm. Should we show them, Han? Yeah, let's show you the auction footage. Well, that didn't go well, did it? <laughs> Sorry about that. We might have built it up a little bit more than we should have done. It was, um, in my day. <laughs> it was a little bit of disappointment on the night we were sat in the office, weren't we? And yeah. recording, we were like, oh, what's it going to go? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. oh, nothing. <laughs> so we're sorry we wasted everyone's time, but let's go on to the next lot, which is the Sybil Leak book. Sybil Leak was a very famous um, witch back in the 70s. <laughs> we had three of her books up. Um, we started them at twenty pound, I think. Yeah. Let's let's see what happened at the auction. Well, that didn't go well either, <laughs> did it? <laughs> What's it going on? It wasn't our night. <laughs> <coughs> oh dear. I just, you know, when we were sat there because we'd spaced them out ten minutes apart as well, so yeah. that we could film them. Um, it, there was a lot of fun just, just sat there going, "Oh my goodness me, this is going to be really boring to watch." Mm. But we we thought we'd keep the footage in because um, you know it is what it is with reselling and with auctions. You don't always and always go your way, does it? No, um, that's it. We know. sort of thought we'd be having a nice holiday with the money from that Back to the Future. Never book, mind. No. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, you know, it was a bit damaged, but um, but it's complete. So we thought, you yeah. know, because it's complete, we might, you know, yeah. get a decent amount. But um, but no, not one bid. But it's not over yet, hun, because we've still no. got two more auctions two more. to go. And, spoiler, this one has got a bid on, hasn't it, hun? Oh, it has. A bid of £20. Yes. So, yeah. let's go and have a look at this lovely vintage pine box. Well, that was pretty exciting as well, wasn't it? <laughs> the, bid, the, the bid that's been on there forever. <laughs> Not forever, but for a long Someone time. Someone got an absolute bargain with <laughs> that box. Oh, you saw it's not going well, is it? We've in the in the clothing um, challenge. We we every week we moaned about things auction. going to auction and not re reaching their full potential, and it just sort of shows. You've got to have two people that really want something that's to get a it. decent value, and that's we were it. a little bit gutted because the. The amount also includes free postage, so mm. that, that's cost us. Um, so, yeah, someone did get a bargain, didn't they? But it's not all over yet, and we've got one. We've got one more. Can we, we pull it out of the bag? Is... We've got the, it was the two silver-plated items, wasn't it, that were yeah. quite badly tarnished. Yeah. Again, we had a bid of £20. Let's go over to the auction and see how we did. Yes, now it was a bit of an awkward, <laughs> awkward one, wasn't it? Because it was an it, awkward one. It, um, we filmed it, and it looked like they didn't sell for anything above the twenty pound. Mm. When we'd done a fair bit of moaning afterwards, we then rechecked we, it. Rechecked it, and it actually went for twenty six pounds. Oh, that extra six pound! I reckon Ooh. that's a couple of a couple of <laughs> coffees at Costa, Han. I reckon. Yeah, well, a couple. No, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, Not we'll now. share a big one. <laughs> um, yeah, so. Uh, not amazing. No. Yeah, I did think that silver stuff... Um, would have gone for more. Would have gone for a lot more than yeah. what it did go for. But, you know, there was a fair bit of damage on it. Yeah, they're very and, warm. Um, they were only £1.65 for the pair. Yeah, I always, don't listing. get me wrong, we've, we've made money on those two lists. Just not much money. Just not as much as we thought we might make. Um, but they have left the house now, haven't they? They, they have, they've gone. They have sent them on their way. So... Um, it goes to show, I mean, auction can go one or two ways. Like I say, it can fall flat like it did with our ones, unfortunately. Yeah. Or it can go through the roof and you may get more money than what you were expecting. But, um, but unfortunately, we just didn't have the people behind the lots, did we? No, but it's so, like anything. What do you do when you've put something on auction and it doesn't mm. go? We, you know, 
in between waiting for the next one, we, we set them off again, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, we set both the, um, uh, what was it, the Back to the Future book and... And the, the Civil League books. Yeah, they, they went back off on auction again. And have we got any um, breaking news, hun? Any breaking news? Yeah, I think the, we've got oh, a bid, we have haven't we? Oh, we have a bid on the... Back to the Future. Yes, that's it. We have a bid on that, which is, which is good, which is better than what we had before. So, so if um, we can remember, we might film it again on Sunday. We might film it again and see... <laughs> If we can remember. See if it falls flat again. <laughs> but we started it off at £30. So, yeah, so um, we have got a bit of 30 I mean, whether they... person pays. Pay, that's exactly it. <laughs> you know. Um, but, um, but yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll see. But it was half an hour of fun, wasn't it? But we yeah. both sat there and thought, well, we could have been doing something. Sat there waiting and for mm. nothing to really do anything. But it just shows what happens when you put something on auction. It, that's the way it goes sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, that's you know, part of the reason we don't do all, many auctions, that's it. really. So, I'm sorry it wasn't um, more exciting. We would have loved it to have sold We would have, pound, we would have loved didn't. it, but yeah, but never mind. Eh? But there you go. So, that's sort of our auction catch up. We just wanted to yes. show you what the items didn't go for. <laughs> never mind, eh? But, you know, you it know, happens. We were hoping for a different outcome, we were, but yeah. you know, this is part of it, isn't it? So, um, we thought we'd show you the items that have sold mainly to show you about the um, the Viewmaster because yes. We, we were surprised. We didn't that. want people not picking up that sort of thing, thinking they're not worth much, when it turned out to be... They're worth quite a bit. Worth quite a bit. We were mm. quite surprised. So, yes, um, definitely. So, yes, that sort of rounds up um, this video as well, hum, doesn't it? Yes, it does. And, um, you know, if you do like our videos or you have any um, suggestions of other videos or anything you'd like to see from us, then uh, pop it in the comments. Yeah. And, um, yeah, do give us a thumbs up and, um, you know, consider subscribing. It is free. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much. Whew. Let's do it then, love. Thanks for the coffee. I'm going to enjoy that in a minute. You're welcome. You're welcome. Ooh. Gone all Janet again. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name's Janet. <laughs> Still makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on then. Let's be, <coughs> let's be grown up. We've got a video to make. You ready? I think so, my love. Good luck. I was going to say, you need to look at the camera. No, I'm going to spend the whole video looking down. <laughs> looking off into the, des in, <laughs> into the distance. <laughs> Can't even get the word right. It's Dist a pose, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Hold on, there's a cat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, stop messing about. Let's, um, let's do it, my love. Then we can have some lunch. Ready? I think so. Hair's annoying, but what can you do? Are you ready? Yeah. Born ready, hun. Born ready. Are you ready? <laughs> Just literally about to talk then. <laughs> you were fiddling with your watch. I was, because it was in the wrong <laughs> place. <watch> fiddler. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on then. Let's, uh, let's, let's get it done. Are you ready? I'm ready, my love. Are you ready? No, I'm going to scratch my hair. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. I've decided, hun. I do not like that angle. Hang on a minute, I, I wasn't ready. Oh, okay, sorry. You literally yeah. just, I was like this. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> like, I decided, uh, uh. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. No, it sounded like, it's, it's happened a couple of times where you sounded like you're finishing. And I was like, oh, I haven't got my bit out yet. Let's <laughs> <laughs> just I'll wipe coffee off my glasses. <laughs> Do you know that happens to me almost on a daily basis? Yeah, but I think what you must pull I your must cup down. I must slurp it. On well, no, yeah. you sit, but then I think you pull your cup down too I'm quickly. I'm forever cleaning coffee off my glasses. And then what it happens is it sloshes. Yeah. So I think it's more. I'm of that. hoping other people will be going. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, that too. I'm gonna say that never happens for me. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking of. Is it splashes back? It splashes back. It happens all the time. Splash back on your glasses. Splash back. <laughs> I couldn't leave it, and then then later I wanted to have another swig, but I thought no, don't. You don't want to be doing it again. <laughs> it must be time for lunch now, my love. Yeah, it is. Hi, and welcome back to M's Den. We're Paul, Marie, and Emily. And um, this is the turning my ten old toys. <laughs> I did that perfect. You did do it perfect. I'm sorry. It's because it's different. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How rude! You did do a very good job. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come on. Come on. It's not funny. Not funny. Not funny. It's Serious. Really, <clears throat> really hot. Serious content to get through mm, here. It's warm today, isn't it? Warm. Mm, yeah. Okay. 
Good luck. <laughs> That's a oh, such a manly voice. You're like, oh, like princess in um, gonna two hands, hands, hands. The sneeze going in. <laughs> That's an attractive look. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> You've made it go. Away. Yeah, we're coming to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All over me book. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. You can't scratch in the video. <laughs> you can scratch it. <laughs> well, no, it's just, it's just, uh, it's, no, you, you're like this. <laughs> well, it's because of itchy. Do you think you got, your head got a bit sun doodad yesterday at the beach, yeah. Martin? Sun doodad. You got me, you got me it's itching. Red. It's a little bit pink, so mm -hmm. perhaps that's what it is, Babs. Burp. Right. Ernie? Should we do the video? <laughs> yeah. Someone's dog's barking now. Don't normally hear them though. No. Perhaps they're like lassie. They're trying to. There's a. There's an issue. Someone's fallen over and they're trying to get attention. Someone's fallen down. Fallen down. And a well. <laughs> like that Tesco's ad. Yeah. <laughs> the sausages. Anyway. It's a. From... <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> teeth back in I think. <laughs> oh, I love it, I love it. Anyway. It's warm isn't it? It is, let's just let's okay. get this done. Let's get this done. Before we stick to the table. <laughs> <laughs> you put it in. Did I? With what? <laughs> I was going to say, it's <laughs> it's <laughs> I'm sorry, did I? <laughs> it's because I always feel it ends a bit like awkwardly. You know when you're like, oh, that's the sign for awkward. Oh, it ends a bit awkwardly. Glasses. Glasses. <laughs> That's what I'm known as now. Glasses. Glasses. Hi, welcome back to M's Den with Paula Marie. And we thought we'd do a bit of a... Um... Bit of a different video today. Again. I didn't know. You looked at me and I thought, oh God, I've got to say something. I don't know what, I've got to... no. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to say. It's just because in my mind I thought we're going to go... I thought I did that. <laughs> oh, it's like that. Oh, it's up to me. No, it means sorry. I've got to say something. No, no, you hadn't. It's just I thought I'd done it wrong. Okay, you ready? Yeah. 